the first rule, finger off the trigger. Finger off the trigger, yep. Finger off the trigger. Finger off the trigger. There you go. Holy sh**. Hey, kid. Tasty burger, burger, burger. It's changed by mind time. For this week's edition, we not only revisited the ever relevant topic of gun control, but we decided to mix things up a little bit by taking the very students we discussed the matter with to the gun range to learn the basics of firearm safety, shooting, and the process of actually purchasing a gun. One thing we've learned with the change by mind conversations most people simply don't have all the information. How would you define assault rifle? Um, uh, I don't know exactly how to define it. Like, like an automated weapon that is capable of mass shootings. Like, I don't think a pistol is capable of what, like, an well, assault rifle 15 can do. There should definitely be more, like, restrictions on how, like, you can get one. Like, there are people out there, as you've seen, like, that aren't fine, that can do the same thing that I can do, you know? So, like, have in you, order to... Have you ever purchased a firearm? No. Okay. So I don't... I I mean, thinks you're probably not aware of the process. Do you think you can just walk in and buy a gun? No, you need like a gun license, right? And you no. need to know. You don't need a gun license. You don't need you a gun need... license, but you do need a driver's license, a yeah. valid ID, and uh, you need those. to fill out paperwork, and there is a background check. I knew there was like some restrictions, but okay. I don't, I didn't know. I knew there was some, but I still believe there should be like more. I just don't know what. Okay. <laughs> like. What if I were to tell you that half a million to over three million innocent lives are saved each year by one simple fact. What is that? Defensive use of the firearm. That's, That's a, how many people have it. According to the CDC, a minimum of 500,000 potentially over three million. And by the way, that's really hard. to. That doesn't take into account many times a firearm saves a life just by brandishing it and the shot is yeah. never fired. That is true. That is true. Yeah. I always encourage women, if you can, to uh, at least go learn how to shoot and protect yourself responsibly and uh, then consider purchasing a firearm. Do either of you own a firearm? No, but I, I, have a, I have a, we have a friend whose dad has a law and she has one too. And Have you he, ever shot firearms? I've never, but she, yeah, she has neither a couple one of you? times. Nope. No. Shauna and Tara? Yeah. Okay. Would you be willing to, maybe in a follow-up, we could do a, a segment on this, go with me to a range Shoot for the first time and purchase, so a, and yeah, purchase I'm a firearm. Down. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> purchase a firearm, yeah? Yeah. Okay. They didn't know everything about firearms, and that's okay. Enter the twist on this week's Change My Mind, where we took these gals, eager and willing to learn, to the range for the first time. All right, so this is how we're going to start. So the first thing before I do anything with you, before I do anything with you, uh, is the first rule, and we had our last, we'll see if you do better than the last guy who came in for the first time, just finger off the trigger. And I don't want like I said, don't be afraid of it, because you know it's not loaded, so hold it firmly. Okay. So with one hand, push that button, push that out, check it, have her check it. And then... Push it back and you feel a snap. Yep. And just always keep it aimed somewhere. Yep. Now, feel this kind of, that the reason that finger there is A, it's safe, yeah. but also kind of pinch it with your thumb here. Because you're kind of pushing into your hand and you're squeezing your fingers together so that it holds it as stable as possible. But this is probably the least, you know, to most people, the least intimidating. Gun reform, kind of what we talked about there when we were at uh, your school, no one really is even talking about these. Yeah. So. The Elmore Fudd gun that can do a lot more damage than <laughs> Yeah, some people yeah. are. Seems 
pretty far, doesn't it? Yeah. That's only seven yards. That's where most attacks, most self-defense situations happen within seven yards. Seven yards. So to give you an idea, when people say, like kind of a, a myth we'll go through is like, couldn't you shoot them in the leg or did you have to shoot them, you know, to kill them? Picture a person at seven yards, it's, you know, to actually, you'd have to get it in one, in, the, in that white circle while the person's moving. So who wants to go first? You can go first. It's already loaded, that's the semi-automatic. So same thing, when you're ready, just squeeze that trigger. Aim at that center, breathe, stabilize it. You got all the time in the world. Good. Hey, right on target. Good. That was just to the to the right on the red. Oh, keep the finger off the trigger. If you're not shooting, just line it up and just squeeze that trigger and you should be fine. It's definitely harder to control. Yeah. A little bit longer trigger, but same thing, one shot. One so round. Was this used more for self-defense than that one? Or not yes. Enough? Yeah. Basically, for self-defense, typically speaking, talking about this, and this is the revolver equivalent to the nine millimeter, which is what we're going to do next. The nine mil—it's the exact same gun as a twenty-two, but in a nine millimeter platform. When people say shooting the leg, no, a police officer is going to use something significantly more powerful than that. Yeah. And see how hard it is just to once you get into a level of self-defense to control it. Um, just it takes practice, which is why typically I don't know if you know this. Concealed carry holders are actually six times less likely to commit crimes than even off-duty police officers. And that's because typically we tend to practice a lot. We go through the courses, you know. So this, yeah, is, gonna well. see, this is gonna be louder. But it's actually easier to control than a handgun. So I'll show you first, I'll just take a shot. And do you know what AR stands for? Automatic rifle? No. Oh wait, no, not assault rifle. It stands for Arma Light. Oh, Arma light. All. Yeah, it's fully semi-automatic. It's just like the, all the other guns that you yeah. show. So it's okay. Don't be shy. Come on up. I'll, I'll walk you through it. Believe me, it's it's not. It just sounds loud because it's a. You know, there's a lot more. So finger always off the trigger. Uh, sorry. Like I said, it's more sound than kick, right? Yeah, no, there's not that much kick. It's easier to actually hold and shoot than the handgun. It's just loud in here. So there you go. Good. All right, let's take a break. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too heavy, let's Why take a break. It? It's really not that difficult. It's, it's really not, not a lot of kick, not. right? It's just the weight. It, yeah, because it's heavy. It You're substantially. But would you say it's easier than, say, even the revolver as far as controlling it? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's two. There's three. There's three. No, there's four. One, two, three, four. So this is just really simple. You're just loading it, put it in underneath. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Does it not have a magazine? This one doesn't, you can buy it. it it's, that's a part of the assault weapons ban. Oh. So this is perfectly legal. Oh, but If it had a magazine, um, are, is it all magazine loading shotguns or is it just magazine? Um, I believe it's, uh, you can either have a magazine or be semi-automatic, you can't have both. Okay, so oh. that's a good example as to what's banned. Oh, okay. If this is a semi-automatic, it can't have a magazine. This is legal. If it had a magazine, it wouldn't. No. Now if it were semi-automatic, like uh, the AR, it definitely couldn't be allowed a magazine. Oh, okay. Now, it's just if it's, it, sometimes, sometimes it entirely depends if it's detachable. As a matter of fact, to give you an idea, this same gun would be illegal if the grip were a pistol grip. Really? That's the assault weapons ban. Oh. And the, the whole purpose of it was, it wasn't to make people safer. You want to tell me that me holding it this way or this way yeah. It's gonna stop a school shooting. It was just to disrupt the firearm manufacturing industry and make it hard and, you know, it's a PR battle. Oh. Okay, once you're ready, you're gonna pump it. It's not, it's not chambered, so you're gonna pump this back and forward and then just aim and shoot. This one's pretty simple. It does have some kick, for sure, but just so you've done it once. So it really makes it look fun. Yep, there you go. Okay, don't be shy with this as far as getting the firm grip. Pump it forward and back. Finger off the trigger. Are you okay? Yeah. The <laughs> That's the hardest one to shoot. Did it not go in? Back. Now forward all the way. There you go. It is ready. Get it. Oh, get it right in there. Oh, sorry. Get it right in that. Okay. It's gonna give you some kick. So hold a firm grip on it. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You want to shoot another one? No, I'm good. You're good. <laughs> okay. Ladies, good job. But the truth is, a shotgun. That's just a 12 gauge shotgun. You've heard almost no one ever, no one ever talks about it because it's one of the most common hunting guns. But uh, 
certainly as far as if you're just talking about the most damage. That's why actually shotguns, a lot of shotguns have been used in public shootings that they just modify because that thing is, I mean, it's hard to control, but yeah. it really is. I mean, that slug that you fired would go through Jared, Mark, both of you, Boy, and the drywall. Really yeah, whereas the AR-15 would not. But okay. it just doesn't look because it it's a pump hurt, yeah. and no one thinks of it because they've grown up with it. And so no one really talks about it. So if, if yeah. the goal is really to make, if we're talking about removing guns that can damage people, yeah. that would be the, but the, yeah, no, that's, that's not really the purpose. Did, did it surprise you at all that of the firearms, the ones that people don't really even talk about or mention, like banning it all is that last shotgun? Yeah, like that one was really scary to me. Just because like it hurt a little. I mean it hurt, but it, it hurt. had more of a kick. And it makes a much bigger hole. Yeah, it makes up, yeah. The hole is like way bigger compared to the. Yeah. But like the AR 15, that was like the same as the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So what, what, would you sh shoot again? Oh, yeah. Oh, you would? Yeah. You, would you, you seemed like you were the most eager to get back up there after she was out of my way. Yeah, if, if you were to buy one for yourself, what, what, would, what would you get, you think? Probably the, like, not the 20. The 9 millimeter yeah. PPQ? Yeah. Well. Let, they have that here, so let's go through the purchase. You could one of us. Yes. Are you guys over 21? It's gotta be 21. It's gotta be 21 for a handgun. Mm -hmm. We can still fill out a background form. Can we, we can still see the process? Yeah, yes. I can even, well, you I know can what? even still run the background check. We should have an AR-15 that is 22. On a 22 platform? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so when you're 18, you can buy a long gun? Yes, but, but you no. cannot buy a handgun. Oh. I forgot about that even. Because yeah. I was just been a while since I've been 21. Yeah. Is, are there any of these that interest you that you would like? Would you like to get the. I don't know. You sound like you were keen on that handgun. You have to just wait till no, you're 21. I mean, no. <laughs> if you want to get one of these, you, you can. But if you're, if you're like, eh, you don't feel. How about we just go through the background check? Okay, let's go yeah. through. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's do it as they're going to get that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but let's do the back background check. Uh, uh, me, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well. Actually, that's kind of interesting because we were just going to go through it so you would learn the process, but you can't really go through the process for the gun that you wanted. You yeah. wouldn't even be allowed to buy it. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So this is the process. Any firearm that you purchase okay. that you go through, everyone in the, this legally. state legally, yeah. yes. Yeah. Whoever comes in here has to purchase the firearm for themselves because they have to pass the background check. No, there's something called a straw purchase, which it means like if you were to come in here and I get the feeling that you're buying a gun for her, but you're doing the background check in your name, I can go to jail if I sell you the gun and don't say anything. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, we've actually had to do that. We, I, we sell the gun and then I hear the conversation. I'm like, wait, who's this for? And then they lie to me. Then they turn around and talk about it. And I'm like, oh, right. well, I'm not going to sell you the gun. Right. You know? so, <laughs> um, this isn't like a gun registry. Yeah. So like this paperwork we fill out doesn't go anywhere. We put it in a filing cabinet. The government doesn't know who owns what guns. Right? Yeah. There's more guns here than there are people. So it's not, there's no way to track down where this gun goes after you leave the store with it, other than they come here and we say, hey, did they, they have to know your name. We say, did this person buy a gun? I can tell you what gun you bought. All right, so this is your part. Um, you fill it out, it's called a 4473. And it takes all your information. You gotta put enter exactly as it appears on your license here. Okay. So if it's capitalized, you capitalize it. There's like a period, a period, so on and so forth. Um, one thing that people mess up is where it says county, they blow through it and they put USA, not thinking. Oh. Yeah, if you were in another um. country, you wouldn't be able to buy a gun, actually. Okay. So it's county. So make sure you read everything. All this stuff is laws that you need to know when you buy a gun. Um, you're another one of your felons, are you? Nope, I don't well, think we'll so. we'll find out. What about domestic abuse? No. You don't slap your boyfriend around at all? No. Okay. I'm on a watch list or anything? Huh? I'm on a watch list? No. Actually, they wouldn't know. I don't think so. Well, it's true. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, social's optional. You don't have to put the social. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Haven't you heard? It's as easy as buying a toothbrush, a firearm. I'm honestly scared. <laughs> of the shotgun? Of her having a shotgun. Oh, really? No, she was very good with the firearms. So she had really good figure, uh, you know, trigger control. All done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I take all that information. I get it two ways. I can go on the computer to the uh, FBI and put it in there, or I can call them on the phone, which sometimes we have to do if the computer system is all backed up, which it is a lot of the time. But. So we're going to find out if you've committed any crimes right here. Are you sure? I'm Last chance positive. to turn back. Pretty positive? Yeah, I've never, I've never done anything. Pretty uh, thorough questionnaire there, huh? Yeah. Did that surprise you? Yeah, I didn't think there was like that, all that. Yeah. And he's putting it through the database right now, so the FBI will let us know if you've lied about any of those questions. Okay. So for hypothetical first one, AR-15, gonna go with that? Yeah, Shotgun. let's okay. go with the AR-15. 
So does that give me like a license to have and this one is nope. what doing? No. So a license to carry is a whole different process. Uh, okay. So this is just you legally own that firearm. Uh, okay. But you uh, now it's different state to state. So for example, Bernie Sanders State, Vermont, you don't need any license to carry at all. Oh, uh, okay. You but just in, do this? That's it. Uh, but in Texas, you have to go through a course. And it's basically a full Saturday course. They do a little bit more of a stringent background check. And then it takes about six weeks to three months to get your card, uh, okay. a concealed carry card. So uh, that's that's a different process. And you have to be, I well, yeah, you have to be 21 to do that. Uh, okay. So I need your signature here. Just let me go run your background. And then four did you hear? 2018. All right. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to call the FBI. I'm probably just going to do it on the computer. Okay. Put all this information in. And then usually it's almost like the same thing that a cop sees in his truck. You know, um, not exactly the same thing, but the same thing. It goes back instantly, usually. So um, I'll be right back. Okay. So last chance. None of these interest you. You were, you were. Just the one that you're, we're doing now, I guess. I tell you what. If you, you have John's info. If you were to call John, let's do this. We'll go through this whole thing. But if you, at your birthday, call John, you're like, I still want to buy that Walther. We'll take you back and we'll get that one. Okay, I'll call you in two years. Yes, two years. You're twenty. I thought you're twenty. I'm, I'm, I'm twenty. She's okay, 20. twenty. All right. I'll call you. Okay, you can call. <laughs> Absolutely, call John. You passed just barely. Just barely. I got a 62%. Yeah, no, sorry, I take it you've never been in trouble because it came right back and I said, yeah, she's a good person. So, yeah. Good. At this point, we sell you the gun. So, yeah. So, you passed the background check. What would you say about your first experience shooting? Um, I think I was definitely scared at the beginning, but after going through like, the process and feeling comfortable with it, it was fine, especially after like the first couple of shots. But I don't think I'd be as comfortable if we didn't go through the whole like. Right. The yeah, your demonstration yeah, helped a lot. Yeah. Well, you were both pretty good after a while. You both got the hang of it, and you were actually both good, good yeah. first-time shooters. Did it surprise you how long kind of the background check took and how? Yeah, and that he like went through the FBI and stuff. I know that you do that. Because I think it was one thing you brought up when we were at UTD. That's a big reason why we wanted to come mm -hmm. here. Was you talked about sort of background checks and said, well, there yeah. already are background checks. And that's kind of, that's why there's a disconnect that we were talking about in the conversation. And people, anyone who's purchased a firearm legally, when they hear someone new say, we need background checks, we go, well, what are you, what are you talking about? Because we, you know, we go through yeah, this every time. Has your perspective changed at all? Kind of like when we talk about sort of gun control or common sense gun reform? Yeah, because there were so many little things about each gun that could make it like illegal and not legal like so fast. For example, like making the trigger look different. Yeah, the, the, the basically, yeah. yeah, it would be a pistol grip as opposed yeah, to a rifle so I grip. I don't know. That's like pretty dumb to me. What about you? Um, something that I was like thinking about from our previous conversation back mm -hmm. at UTD was remember how we were talking about mental illness mm -hmm. and like how people with mental illness end up not being able to get one? What's the line? Isn't that a good question? Yeah. It's very astute that you asked that question because it tells me you were thinking since we last spoke about it. When, when I see that, and I, I see on television, I see politicians and the talking heads talking about it, for example, semi-automatic. I'm going, well, they don't know what that is, or they don't know that there is a background check. Yeah. Same thing with mental health. If you look at sweeping legislation, basically it gives the government power to determine who's mentally unfit. Like, I take uh, medication for my anxiety. So does sure. that, like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean, like... You know, that's where you, the, the conversation of rights versus freedoms. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Or do we want to give the authority to the government to say, we well, have a prescription for anxiety, I don't trust you with a gun. And you say, yeah, but I've never, and they go, doesn't matter, you can't have a gun. Yeah. And that's where you have to decide for yourself. You know, that's why I'm pro Second Amendment, because someone doesn't necessarily know why I need to carry. Just like I don't need to know if you have a prescription for anxiety. Just like you don't need to know if she has a crazy ex-boyfriend who wants to kill her, why she has a gun by her bedside. You know, that's why I err on the side of freedom, especially considering how, like you said, you know, a lot of people act as though it's the Wild West. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that's changed where you thought maybe people were just purchasing firearms really yeah. easily? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Once you, can, once you commit a felony or anything seriously violent yeah. against them, you're, you're, you can't you can't. Yeah, that's when you forfeit your rights because... Yeah, well, legally. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I'm sorry you weren't able to purchase a firearm. I didn't know you weren't about 21. But if you make that call in two years... I'll keep your contact. Yes, we will get... We, we will absolutely yeah, take care of you. Yeah, you're June 12th. June 12th. There you go. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate it. I'll yeah, give it thank you so much for... Thank you. Thank you. I hope it was a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah. We appreciate you coming on out.
Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you should subscribe anyway, because then you can watch the next video. And what you can do is downvote it and leave a comment that's really negative, you know, particularly if it's something like, I don't know, maybe anti-Semitic, even though I'm not Jewish, or something about my hair, or something about my weird nose. Just leave a really negative comment so that everyone else around can act like they care.